I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. We're here with the strangest news of the day, a video proving Dwayne Wade's sexual orientation is gay. That's correct. We would have agreed with you if there were simply rumors, but there is evidence, including sources close to Wade, who not only attended his wild parties, but also corroborated that Dwayne Wade enjoys partying with young men. Not only that, but there are a lot of talks about some pretty strange Instagram photographs that clearly show Dwayne Wade is gay. Everything you need to know is right here. Many of us predicted that when an unsubstantiated report surfaced on dead spin that Dwayne Wade's soon-to-be ex-wife Siobhan went haywire with a baseball bat on his MVP trophy. It was just the beginning of a series of unpleasant rumors. The claim that Siobhan smashed Dwayne Wade's MVP trophy with a baseball bat has subsequently been refuted. Sadly, for Dwayne, the great majority of us were right. This seems true, knowing his stand with his daughter's new life. But you know, you won't truly get to the real truth until you come across verifiable proof. Jaguar has a lot to say, and you are not about to miss listening to what she has to say about this. In an interview with the Palm Beach Post's Pickett Will Live, Wade's former business partner, Baron Richard Von Houtman, reportedly made a variety of sexual and drug-related charges against Wade. Von Houtman claims that during Wade's marriage, he and his entourage had sex parties in an apartment and that the basketball player participated in some puff-puff pass. Von Houtman further states that Wade utilized an apartment to host sex parties that featured not just sex and drugs but also a group of young men recruited by Dwayne himself. Von Houtman contends that it was a four-bedroom place on the first floor of a high-rise. One day, I got a call from my cleaning crew at the apartment. I went down there and what I saw was disgusting. The apartment was trashed and filthy and it wasn't the first time. They'd have these parties in there two or three times a week. There were always dozens of people in there. Rappers, Dwayne and his entourage, women they pick up in clubs. These parties hosted at Dwayne's house and others aren't a new thing. It's been in circulation for a long time. If you recall what Jessica Reed Krause said about Elon Musk and Amber Heard, she reportedly said that Elon Musk and Amber Heard have been hosting these questionable parties since the year 2011. She also said in her article that Amber and some others were given the task of bringing young people to those parties. Someone even opened up to the fact that a lot of times they were made to ingest substances before going in for the party. Von Houtman also described used condoms on the bedroom floor, unmistakable indications of sexual activity on all of the beds, empty champagne, and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts, and food that had been partially devoured and was rotting on tables, chairs, and other surfaces. Not to mention, Von Houtman, a commodities dealer, stated that he was told numerous times that Wade attended the majority of the wild shindigs, despite the fact that he was never invited. Meanwhile, Dwayne Wade was spotted on occasion with his gal pal and a seatless starlet named Gabrielle Union. However, Van Houtman did not stop there. He made certain that the public understands what lurks beneath Dwayne Wade's perfect player facade, as he didn't hold back in declaring that Wade isn't who the world believes he is and that the former basketball player and his friends are nothing more than a bunch of idiots. Furthermore, it appears that the image of perfection that Wade has been constructing since his debut in the NBA in 2003 is currently being destroyed as a result of Von Houtman's revelations. He remains one of the league's most well-known players around the world. His ex-wife, Siobhan, alleged in a document filed in their divorce case in Chicago that her husband of eight years gave her an STD that she caught outside of the marriage. This allegation was made during the divorce proceedings. She also alleged that Wade, who was known as one of the most religious Heat players, had abandoned her and their two children. Von Houtman, on his part, has stated, the man isn't what people worldwide think he is. He and his friends are just a bunch of idiots. I mean, I'm in Chicago at a charity party in 2007 and Wade is being passed around and Wade takes a hit. In front of everybody, I got sucked into doing business with him because he has a first-class media persona, the new Michael Jordan. He was that good guy, father of the year, a celebrity who had his head on his shoulder. I found out that after a year he was not like that. Fans are also persuaded by the publishing of such explicit allegations by someone who did business with Dwayne Wade. Fans are increasingly convinced that Wade is gay, citing evidence from his Instagram posts. Many people believe Wade has finally recognized his gay orientation after uploading a couple of photographs on his Instagram account of him hanging out with his wife, Gabrielle Union, and their daughter, Kavya James. This is due to the fact that one of the images shows him sitting in a chair with his legs crossed, watching his wife, Union, feed their daughter from a bottle. When the stance was released online, it sparked accusations that Dwayne was gay, according to various media outlets. One of the comments noticed the tattoo on his leg and said that people with thigh tattoos are more likely to be homosexual. Wade could also be seen in another photo with his unusually painted toenails and a gold anklet.
To top it all off, Dwayne may have given his followers and the whole public a hint about his sexuality, revealing that he is, in fact, gay. That's correct. Dwayne previously stated in an interview that he supports his gay son, saying, I'm doing what every parent has to do. Once you bring kids into this world, you become unselfish. It's my job to be their role model, to be their voice in my kids' lives, and to let them know you can conquer the world. So, go and be your amazing self and we're going to sit back and just love you. Dwayne Wade, on the other hand, appears to be speaking out about more than just his sexuality. Wade has recently given the sense that he is an open book, even though certain portions of his background may be difficult to find. In a recent ESPN documentary titled D. Wade, Life Unexpected, the former NBA star discusses a difficult time in his life when he had to tell his then-girlfriend Gabrielle Union that he was the father of a child she was unaware of. Wade and Union began seeing each other in 2008. However, according to Entertainment Tonight, a CBS News partner, the NBA player fathered a child with another woman in 2013 while he and Union were on a hiatus. Wade stated, I had a child with someone else and I had to tell Union. The hardest thing I've ever had to do is man up and tell Gabrielle Union that I've had a child with somebody else. When you hold something in that you know is going to come out, and you have this information, and you know it's gonna fuck somebody's life up, that you care about, that you love, if it doesn't hurt you, then you're not human. In the documentary, Wade also states that his children Zaire, Xavier, and Saya have always had a soft spot in their hearts for Union and that he even included them in his marriage proposal to her. Wade spoke with that's Nichelle Turner about the themes he discusses in the documentary at the screening. One of these issues was his 12-year-old daughter Zaya, who recently came out as transgender. In terms of what he's doing today, aside from dealing with a slew of claims leveled against him, Wade used to work as a Turner commentator, but he departed before the start of the current season. He has done all of these things, in addition to producing a photo-driven biography, partnering on a limited-edition cannabis line, and co-founding a newborn skincare brand with Gabrielle Union. Despite this, he is preparing to begin his second season as a game show host and as a minority owner of the Jazz. Wade confessed, saying, I got this entertainment side of me that just won't go away. I guess I like being in front of the camera. But it's something cool, may I? It's something that I never thought I would do. When you get a chance to try something, to experience something that you didn't know it would be this electric kind of energy in your body, you want more of it. And so that's what I tried. Not to mention that after retiring from the NBA, the former three-time champion now has assets in consumer products and media. Wade, 40, even made stock investments in two different sports groups. Having said that, we will not hesitate to ask Wade to talk freely about where he falls on the sexuality spectrum so his supporters can get the answers they need. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!